Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with Trotec Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into the rotary accessory, showing operation with the cones, rollers, and the three jaw chuck while using the Ruby software. To install the rotary on the Speedy 100, 300, and 360, first lower the table. Then turn off the laser machine and place the rotary into the machine, making sure the black hooks on the rotary hook over the top of the rulers on the back and the left side. Then plug in the rotary on the port on the left side. To install the rotary into the Speedy 400, lower the table, turn off the laser machine, and then open the machine and remove the table by pushing the pins to release and removing the table. To install the rotary, place it into the center of the field and align the right and the left pins to the pin holes on the Speedy 400 rotary. Now, with the laser off, plug in the rotary and then turn on the laser machine. After installation comes operation. This section will walk through setting up the file using the Ruby software. Take the product that will be processed in the rotary and then measure the diameter and then write that number down for later use. Place the product into the rotary, making sure that it is secure. Place a level onto the surface if the product is angled. If needed, adjust the rotary angle until the product is level. Remove the cone before operating the rotary. Manually focus onto the surface of the product using the manual focus tool. Position the red dot pointer to the desired start location of the graphic. Then open Ruby. Choose the desired graphic from the Manage screen. If no adjustments are needed, create the job and take it into the Prepare screen. Turn on the rotary by selecting it at the top of the toolbar. In this case, we're going to rotate the graphic 90 degrees. And then position it at the red dot pointer. You will then notice a shadow of the graphic will simulate how the graphic will revolve around the cup in this case. Measure the diameter and place the diameter into the rotary field. This graphic can be scaled and adjusted as desired within this screen. Select the 3D button to see a 3D simulation of the finished product. You can click and drag this 3D simulation around to make sure that the file looks correct before laser processing. Now select the material parameter on the right side of the prepare screen. And then push it to the laser. The laser will now process this file as seen on the screen, no matter how the file is wrapped around, well beyond 360 degrees until the image is fully engraved. The simplicity of using the red dot pointer to align the graphic, a shadow simulation to show how the graphic wraps around the diameter, 3D simulations of the product before they are processed, and the ability to engrave beyond 360 degrees are just some of the added benefits of using the rotary on the Ruby software. When finished, remove product from the laser for the finished result, and then repeat as needed. Some products and applications require that the concave and convex cones on the rotary to be switched. To remove the cones, a wrench is necessary. Using a thin 13 millimeter wrench, slide behind the cone and turn the cone left to unscrew from the shaft. Repeat on the other side and switch the cones by reversing this action. In addition to cones, the rotary can be configured with chucks, including the manual ring chuck, manual three jaw chuck, standard three jaw chuck, and the drill chuck, depending on the cylindrical object being laser processed. For chuck installation, using the 13 millimeter wrench, Remove the cone on the drive side of the rotary, then screw on the three jaw chuck. To use the chuck, select application, in this example a brass metal top. Place into the standard three jaw chuck using the tool to tighten the metal top in place. Then open the graphic in Ruby, focus and run the file. This example is laser processing using the fiber laser to engrave 360 degrees around the diameter of the top. 
The chuck option allows for more control over applications that may require more precise laser processing and products that will not fit correctly into the standard cones. To remove, use the chuck tool to loosen the clamps for the finished result. In this example, a large 40 ounce tumbler is too large to process with the drive side cone. However, using the chuck in conjunction with the cones allow for successful processing. Additionally, using the three jaw chuck with rollers on the left side also has advantages with some applications. The ability to interchange options as needed on the rotary allow for far more diverse applications. With the Speedy 300, 360, and 400 rotaries, it is possible to switch the cones out for a roller option. To switch the cones for rollers, locate the 3mm hex key, and then remove the five screws on the outer housing of the rotary. Once the five screws are removed, pull the housing off and set it aside. Now remove the two longer screws on the top of the cone. Slide the belt off, set it aside, and pull straight up to remove the cone. Place the rollers in place of the cone and reattach the two long screws. Now place the belt over the gears and adjust the belt over the pulley as shown. Now place the housing back on the rotary and reattach the five short screws loosely at first, then tighten them down after they are all in place. To remove the left side cone, remove the black knob and washer. Place the roller attachment in place, replace the washer and tighten down with the knob. Once complete, the rollers will allow for products that may not work with the cones or the chucks. A thin tall shot glass is placed onto the rollers in this example. This application would not work with the cones or the chuck, but the rollers allow quick and easy processing. Traditional applications that will work with the cones or the three-jaw chuck will also work with the rollers. Like this 20-ounce tumbler by placing it under the rollers with the added benefit of angle adjustment directly on the left side of the roller for easy, fast product replacement. The Trotec rotary can provide the diversity to laser process most cylindrical type products. And no matter what option is used on the rotary, the Ruby software process is exactly the same. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. We'll see you next time.